Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I want to talk to you a little bit today about uh, galleries opposed to one-on-one -on -one readings. I'm getting a lot of emails asking me what the difference is and to explain how many uh, are in a gallery opposed to how many are in, you know, if you have a little group together. So I'm just going to explain the difference. I, as a, a spiritual medium, when I do a one on one reading, I uh, tap into the energies that are connected around that one person. I will do small group readings up to five. And if they stay together as a group, I always tell them I'm not responsible over who comes in. So very often they will say to me, um, you know, how long will each reading take? Will you be able to tap into each one? Will you take us privately? If it's a private reading, then it's a private reading. That's why I don't do readings online. I personally feel that that mediumship messages from your loved ones in spirit are a very private, personal thing. So I don't do them online. Um, you know, and I would never do them online because I just don't feel that um, spirit is going to work with you as strongly as they work with you on an individual basis because it is, it is like I say, a very private and personal um, thing between uh, your loved ones in spirit and the person who's getting the reading, okay? So anyway, to get back on track, and you all know that I go off the beaten path every once in a while, but I there's so much to to what we do as true spiritual mediums that I want to make sure that everybody is properly educated about how this works, why people do it, um, re don't do it online and don't do, uh, you know, don't do it on in, in a way that everybody hears all the messages. However, galleries are different. And when people come to galleries, they have an understanding that when they come to a gallery, that there's no guarantee that the, the, the medium who is running the gallery is going to be able to tap into every energy okay so if i'm doing a one-on-one -on -one, it's very easy for me to tap into the energy of of the loved ones connected around the person who comes for a one-on-one -on -one reading for me um like i say i'm not in control whoever steps in from spirit steps in um, I do do psychometry, so if somebody wants to specifically try to connect with a loved one who's passed over, um, you know, if they bring a picture of that loved one or an article that they touch that belonged to them or even a gift from them that has their energy on it, um, more often times than not, I'm able to pull in the energy of the loved one they want to connect to. But we are never really in charge, and there's no guarantee, even with psychometry, that a true medium is able to bring in that energy. God and spirit knows who needs to come in and what needs to be said. So they, the spirits step in as they feel they're needed to step in and bring the information through that will be most beneficial, most healing for the person who receives it. So one-on-one, -on -one, you know, uh, or even a group up to five, if you're together as a group, you know, you tap into the energies of each one. Okay, and I'm going to talk about organization at another air airing because that's very important. Um, I've done very large galleries. I've done uh, a, a few galleries that were 300 plus, and um, that can be difficult if you're not an organized medium. Uh, but for me, uh, because I'm a seer, I'm clairvoyant. I will see, you know, like like lights stepping in. It's it's like. Um, almost like beams of light and as they get closer to the individual they're connected to um, then they they will um, appear to me to to be how they looked when they were in lived on the physical plane uh, because don't forget now they're in full spirit so we do look as we look in spirit as we look in the physical sense because I, as i explained before uh, we have two bodies, a spiritual and a physical body, and both are gifts from God. So we will recognize each other when we pass over as the way we looked in the physical sense, only the best that we looked, okay? So if you're doing, if I'm doing a gallery and, and I'm doing, let's say, 50 people and all the spirit energies, all the loved ones connected around them all pull in, you know, it's, it's, I don't want to say easy for me, but easier for me because um, they line up accordingly. And, and again, I'll get into the organization at another airing. But, um, you know, the difference is a one-on-one -on -one is just one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you know, I, I speak directly to the person who sits in front of me. And one-on-one, -on -one I classify not only one-on-one, -on -one, but up to five. And then um, galleries are larger when larger amounts come in. And, and how I run galleries are I'll give a two-hour gallery. And this is the way I always run them. And I like to, I like to uh, start with a little med meditation, a short three, four minute meditation. I do education because to me, if you bring in messages and the people who are receiving the messages don't have a, a complete understanding of how we work with the world of spirit, then the messages really are not, not um, as important uh, or understood 
uh, as, as they will understand them with education. And then while I educate, it always happens that information comes in and I will start, you know, tapping into different people and announcing their loved ones as they step in. And then um, I bring up, up, most of it is bringing messages in and then I always end with um, questions and answers for anybody who wants to ask any question. And I always say no question is it's silly because so often I'll get silly, people will say, oh, I have a silly question. And I tell them, you know, no question is silly, especially when it comes to the world of spirit. Okay. So the difference between one-on-one -on -one is it's, um, it's a more personal, it's a more personal thing between the loved one and the person receiving it. And galleries are a little different. Um, and, and I learned um, in galleries, uh, there's a limit of what I will say to each individual. And it's really funny because I learned this from um, the wonderful um, evidential medium, George Anderson, who works out of Long Island. He is a, a, a wonderful, wonderful, true evidential spiritual medium. And, um, you know, I, I had explained to you before about symbology and what a spirit will do for me is if, they, if information they have, um, that comes in is very personal. They'll show me a clothesline with clothes. And that basically says, don't air the linens, don't air the dirty linens. And, and with that person, I will say, will you meet me a few minutes after the gallery? I have something private that your loved one would like to say to you. So it's really amazing how they work with me. It took me years to form this personal relationship with them, but I love it. And, um, and God and spirit are always very kind and, uh, and very comforting and, and know the right things the right things to say, the right messages to bring. Okay, so that's it for today. Just a little difference between one-on-one -on -one and galleries. And as always, I leave you on this beautiful sunny day in God's love and light.